There is another very interesting point that we need to learn. If you want to be steadfast on the path, you need to surrender to the decree of Allah. You need to surrender to the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times. What this means, it is explained in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, where he says, Al-mu'minul qawiyyu khayrun wa ahabba ila Allahi min al-mu'min al-da'if. He says, a strong believer is far more loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than one who is weak. And this is strong in every sense. You try and keep yourself physically fit, number one. You have stronger belief, conviction in Allah. You are far more loved by Allah than the one who is weak. This is why my sisters don't go on a quick diet. You need to be strong, mashallah. We said the other day, you need to have, mashallah, the milk, dairy products also at times in balance. And you need to have the red meats in balance sometimes, unless obviously you've already had your quota, as I've said in the past. For those of you who don't know, let me quickly mention, sometimes the doctor tells you red meat is bad, don't have it. We can modify the statement slightly to Islamize it, to tell you if red meat, if the animal was slaughtered properly according to the halal way, the meat is not bad, but the way you ate it in the past was so bad that now for you, you won't have to eat much more or your quota is up. How much you were meant to eat, you've already walloped it, mashallah. <laughs> no more space for that. So to say meat is bad, I think needs modification. That's not what is bad. The way we eat it is bad. Chocolates are not bad, mashallah, but sometimes the way we eat them, bad. The same way milk is a gift of Allah. Don't say any food is bad. No food is bad that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made halal. But sometimes for us, the way we've eaten, other things or those particular items is what renders that particular item not good for us.